My name is Harry Maina. I'm the camp manager. I work with Polini Camps. Nairobi National Park is quite unique in its own rights, and this is what most people don't know. You know, Nairobi is reputed to be the only capital city in the world with a true wildlife park in it. Whereas maybe other cities could be having just a nature park, but this is a true wilderness park. It's teeming with big game. Talk about the big cats. They are here, the lions, leopards. Talk about the other big wildlife, the giraffes, the zebras, the buffaloes. They're all here, and the rest of the plains game. My name is Alan Jao Kirobi. I'm a tour guide. I'm working with the game watchers. Aga Bazard. Yeah, for those who are traveling to other countries and they have to stop at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, you have a chance of uh, doing a game drive and see all the animals and enjoy the park. Because the park is 10 minutes drive from the airport. I'm Martina Bennett. I work for an international humanitarian organization called Mercy Corps. Our team uh, has been here for the past weekend and um, using this wonderful, gorgeous camp and park as a place to get away and do some team building and uh, brainstorming and strategizing. Um, so we're currently at a team retreat in the middle of Nairobi National Park and it's an excellent uh, catalyst for all of that thinking. The Kenya government has done a lot even to put up a police unit that is a tourist police unit. That unit is entirely to see to the safety of the tourists in our country because we want them to come to Kenya and to feel that they are in the safe hands. My message to them is tell them that Kenya hakuna matata. They have to come to Kenya and visit. We have 52 national and game reserves and all of them they are unique in their own way. <laughs> 